Paul Langerhans, Wikipedia article audio. Paul Langerhans was a German pathologist, physiologist, and biologist, credited with the discovery of the cells that secrete insulin, named after him as the islets of Langerhans. Eponymous terms Early education Major scientific contributions Early career and disease Consequences, Madeira, and marriage Death Langerhans was born in Berlin on July 25, 1847, the son of a physician. He later entered the renowned Graues Kloster in the same city. Due to his outstanding performance he was exempted from the final oral examinations. He began his medical studies at the University of Jena and completed them in Berlin. In February 1869, he presented a thesis entitled Contributions to the Microscopic Anatomy of the Pancreas, in which he refers to islands of clear cells throughout the gland, staining differently than the surrounding tissue. He noticed that these areas were more richly innervated, but he could not suggest a function, except for the incorrect hypothesis that they might be lymph nodes. One year before, still as an undergraduate, he analyzed epidermal skin cells as part of an open competition organized by Berlin University. The branched skin cells resembling neuron, described in his paper entitled On the Nerves of the Human Skin, remained an enigma for over a century before their immunological function and significance were recognized. After graduation, he accompanied the geographer Richard Kiepert to Syria, Palestine, and western Jordan, but returned to Europe at the outbreak of the Franco-Prussian War and later served in an ambulance unit in France. In 1871, Rudolf Fierko arranged a position for him as prosector in pathological anatomy at the University of Freiburg, and within two years he became a full professor. It was there in 1874 that he contracted tuberculosis, very likely because of his work in the dissecting room. In search of a cure, he traveled to Naples. Palermo, the island of Capri, and underwent treatments at Davos and Silva Plana in Switzerland, but all in vain, he was forced to apply for release from his university duties. In October 1875 he embarked for Funchal on the island of Madeira, where he made a partial recovery and launched himself into a new career with undiminished energy. He began studying marine worms, making regular trips down to the harbor to pick over the fishermen's nets. His publications describing and classifying marine invertebrates deserve to rank as his third contribution to science. In 1887, he gave a lecture on these topics to the Royal Academy in Berlin. He practiced as a physician in Funchal treating mostly fellow tuberculosis sufferers, and published scientific papers about the condition in Firko's archive. Not content with this, he also wrote a handbook for travelers to the island, and pursued studies in meteorology. In 1885, he married Margarethe Ibart, the widow of one of his patients. They traveled to Berlin for the wedding and he met his father, sisters, and two brothers for the last time. The newlyweds rented Keen to Lambert, known as the most beautiful villa in Funchal and now the president of the regional government official residence. In the words of his new bride three indescribably happy years followed. In autumn of 1887, progressive renal failure brought his medical activities to an end. He developed leg edema, crippling headaches, and transient memory loss. Sometimes he stopped in the middle of a sentence and was unable to continue. 
he died of uremia on july 20, 1888, five days before his 41st birthday. He is buried in the British cemetery of Funchal on Madeira, a place he had chosen, describing it as a true graveyard, isolated and quiet, a good place to rest.